Hello everybody, my name is Ali Labrak uh, from ADCL NOC team. <coughs> we will talk about, uh, we will talk today about fundamentals of wireless LAN IEEE 802.11 standard. Agenda, we will uh, talk about WLAN components, WLAN frequency bands and channelization, IEEE 802.11 standards and WLAN topologies. First, we will start with WLAN components. Of course, uh, the first component will be BC wireless adapter card and laptop wireless adapter card. Um, mainly laptop wireless adapter card, uh, it's obsolete now and it's uh, hidden and embedded with, uh, in laptop. We should, make, we should note that uh, to make uh, the wireless NICs transmit and receive in the same time, it's being expensive. So IEEE 802.11 wireless lands are always half the oblique at transmitting and receiving <coughs> done using the same frequency. So the LAN devices don't detect collusion, but it avoid collusion by using SESMA CA technique. SESMA CA technique mainly it's basic uh, when any uh, station need to transmit uh, data stream. It's firstly uh, sense the frequ um, uh, RF medium. If uh, it's busy, it wait a random time. After this random time, it's ended. It sends again. If it's free, will it will send? Second component is wireless router or wireless X point. Uh, wireless access point, we can connect it with uh, any uh, network device, switch or hub or router to the internet. Third component is antennas. There is many types of antennas. First one is omnidirectional antenna. Omnidirectional antenna provide 306 degree cellular recovery pattern used to cover office environment, classrooms, hallways and conference rooms. Directional and highly, di highly directional antenna, uh, directional and highly directional antenna, provide focused signal to direct energy in certain direction, used in hallways, outside areas, on on walls. Second thing we'll speak about WLM frequency bands and standards. WLM bands, there's three bands we can work in uh, them to transmit uh, wireless uh, signal. The first band is 900 uh, megabit, me, megahertz. It's not uh, exist here. It's reserved now to mobile uh, communication. So we can only use uh, two bands, two gigahertz band and five gigahertz band. Five gigahertz band is a licensed band, but in Egypt it needs a license from uh, 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 um, police uh, agencies because it's uh, used uh, mili in military applications. So in Egypt, we need to uh, have a permission to use five gigahertz band. The frequency band of uh, this uh, band is ranged from 5.15 uh, 5 and to 5.8 to five gigahertz. Second band, and it is a famous band, is 2.4 gigahertz band. It's an unlicensed band, usually, used in Egypt, who use it usually in Egypt. The frequency ranged from 2.4 to 2.4835. Uh, we will have the full bandwidth of uh, this band is uh, 83.5 megahertz. Um, we should note that microwave ovens and co cordless phone operate in this band. So if we have this uh, devices um, in our uh, home or on, in our uh, work, we should uh, away our Wi-Fi. Um, um, of course, the X point or our device uh, far away these devices to uh, to not uh, make uh, an interference between its uh, signals and Wi-Fi signal. <coughs> band channelization. Of course, as uh, we uh, said before, that the total bandwidth of our 2.4 uh, giga uh, gigahertz band is. Uh, 83.5 megahertz. The IEEE standards divided uh, this uh, band to 
um, 14, uh, 60 channel. As each channel uh, bandwidth is five megahertz, uh, five megahertz. We speak about five megahertz is the centralized um, frequency between the uh, um, highest amplitude between two signals. So from here to here is five megahertz. Okay. But when after researches we found that if we need to transmit data with acceptable, uh, acceptable rates and high speed, we should spread the data on 22 megahertz. But when we will send the data uh, spread on 22 uh, megahertz on the channel bandwidth that we speak about, 5 megahertz, it will make a lot of overlaps and interference. So after researches, they found that they three only they uh, there is three only channels we can use it to transmit Wi-Fi signals in the same time. It's channel one and channel six and channel eleven. The, we will note that from two point uh, two point four gigahertz to two point four one two, there is a twenty. Uh, sorry, sorry. From 2.4 uh, gigahertz to 2.422, if we subtract 2.422 from 2.4, we will find that the bandwidth of this channel is 22 megahertz. Okay? So we have only non overlapping channels is 1 and 6 and 11, if we need use it in the same time. Channel reuse and channel interference. If we need to cover a large area uh, with uh, with Wi-Fi, we of course we will not use uh, channels for one time. We will reuse it, but the same channel can be used in different cells that far away from each other to avoid interference. We um, we we should put the another channel in the same area, but we should uh, put it far away from the first channel. Second thing we will notice when we design our <coughs> Wi-Fi LAN or wireless LAN, we should make an uh, <laughs> overlapping area between uh, each area, uh, each cell. Why we do uh, we do that? We do that because if there is an client here need to move from his place, he he take the signal from this X point or channel. When he will move, he will reach here the signal will be very weak or disconnected so the overlap area protect him from disconnect the um, the signal it will directly sense the signal from this channel and connect with this, uh, this channel with uh, disconnecting and that what's uh, called uh, smooth handover so overlapping areas should be from my uh, 10 percent to 15 percent of the total cells area to guarantee soft handover between cells. WLAN standards IEEE 802.11b is the first standard we uh, IEEE uh, put it. It operates on 2.4 GHz band. A number of non overlapping channels, uh, the three channels that we speak about, 1 and 6 and 11. <coughs> they use uh, DSSS direct three spectrum uh, modulation technique in sending data, and this technique which um, spread the data from uh, spreads the data from the baseband to 22 mega megahertz. The data rates on a channel can vary according to client capabilities and condition from 1 megabit per second to 11 megabit per second that depend on uh, if the client near to the X point or far or the kind of um, NICs that he have and uh, far or near from the X point. Second standard we have the G standard. It's operate also on 2.4 giga, uh, gigahertz band number of non overlapping channel the three uh, the three channels that we uh, speak about um, it's standard use to modulation technique if it use the d triple s direct sequence pre spectrum modulation it will be compatible with i triple e uh, grade b or standard b because it work in the same uh, band and uh, operate in the three channels 
okay also it uses OFDM uh, modulation technique orthogonal frequency division multiplexing uh, that modulation technique over high data rates but we should note if there is an action point and action point work on the two standard B and G if, any cus uh, if we have two customers have uh, their laptop in IC's G standard and operate with X point if any new, po uh, any new client enter the, the wireless LAN B standard his NIC B standard the X point will operate with him on the B standard but it, no, it will not be able to con, uh, connect the other G standard with the G standard. They will connect with, uh, with the new uh, camera and the old uh, connected client with B standard. Because the NICs or the, the standard cannot um, compatible with the, two, with the two modulation technique in the same time. It, it uh, use the D triple S with one customer, so he will uh, he will uh, treat with all clients on D triple S. The data rates on a channel can vary from 6 megabit per second to 40, uh, 54 megabit per second, as we uh, speak before. That depend on the client capabilities and near or far of our access point. A standard to operate on 5 gigahertz band. As we uh, speak before, that five uh, years span is not uh, common. Number of non overlap up to tw uh, 12 channels. Use of uh, technique in, uh, in sending and receiving data that uh, provides the, the 54 megahertz, megabit per second uh, bit rate. The data bits on the channel can vary from 6 megabit per second to uh, 54. No. We should note that um, IEEE 802.11a not compatible with B standard and G standard because it's totally work work the two the two standards is totally work in different bands. This is in on uh, 5 gigahertz band and the other work on 2.4 giga. Uh, hertz band. IEEE 802.11n It's operate on 2.4 GHz band and also on 5 GHz band. Uh, if, uh, we can configure it on 2.4 or 5 GHz band. Number of non-overlapping uh, channels it's, uh, ha we have two conditions. If we use d its modulation technique we will have three channels because the D triple S modulation technique speed the data on 22 megahertz but if we use OFDM modulation technique we will have four channels because OFDM uh, spreads the data on only 20 megahertz so here we have four four channel not three channel add with D triple S It's uh, uh, in the standard use the memo technique. Memo technique is uh, multi input and multi output. Multi input and multi output technique, which employs multiple transmitters and receiver antenna to increase data throughput. The memo technique depends on the numbers of antennas in the transmitter and the number of uh, antennas in the receiver. So when we increase the number, antennas in our transmitter and receiver so we will have higher pit rate and higher throughput from the gain from uh, each, uh, each antenna but we should note if we, ha if we have in our transmitter two antennas and we have in our receiver um, uh, one antenna we will have the same uh, rate bit rate of the old standard because if we have two antenna and one antenna it will uh, um, uh, yani <coughs> treat as a one antenna here not a two antennas because every antenna each antenna received from the uh, opposite antenna so if we have any number of here don't equal the number of here that uh, um, as we said uh, about the little number if we two and three, uh, um, uh, um, we will consider that we have only two antennas in the post side. The data rate on channel can vary from 100 
and 8 megabit per second to 380 megabit per second depends on number of antenna and uh, kinds of the NICs and uh, uh, access point we have. Host memo, uh, memo technique, as we said before, by using multiple antennas at the transmitter and the receiver, uh, separate data trans uh, streams are transmitted at the same frequency but over different spatial uh, channels. It can, uh, although we have four main and uh, four many channel, it uh, generate or uh, send data on uh, um, special channels inside the same channel to support high gain and high data rate. Parts of IEEE 802.11n adapter cards. We will find the TP-Link to uh, uh, manufacture uh, in standard card that's with three antennas to, uh, to be able to uh, receive from the X point. We also, we will put uh, this, this card, we, uh, we of course will not use it with a laptop, we will use a laptop with uh, many number of antenna, that's not uh, logic. So, they manufacture the, uh, something like a network adaptive card, like the flash, card, uh, flash uh, memory, it's ha uh, inside it, it depends on a smart antenna. This smart antenna a um, uh, make this uh, card able to uh, receive high gain of um, of uh, the bit rates and that uh, and make it capable with the transmitter. And also, they manufacture the most uh, little uh, um, adapter card. That's like a USB. It's nothing to to. Uh, it's a very little device. I also work on smart uh, smart antennas. Double line topology. The first topology is IBSS, independent basic service set, ad hoc mode. Uh, if we don't have a connection to the internet and need to use our laptops or our wireless devices uh, with each other, we can uh, use the ad hoc mode. Basic service set, if we have an one access, access point needed to uh, support many, many devices or many clients, it's uh, this topology um, called basic service set. If we have more than two access points connected with a common distribution system, it's uh, this, uh, this uh, topology called extended service set. That's the end. Thank you. Questions? Uh, I didn't get the answer of your question. Yeah. This. I, I heard it, so. This is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Ask him another question. What was the minimum overlap between two cells coverage? So five megahertz? No, no. From 10 to 20 in the major design. If we don't have a special. Depends on the. From 10 to 20 to 15, and uh, if we have a uh, voice over IB uh, clients um, in this, you will um, increase it to 20.